good morning good afternoon good evening uh for me personally it's uh evening it's about 11 20 here p.m um i was actually in bed getting ready to go to sleep and um the spirit kept putting the same stuff on my heart that has been being placed on my heart for like weeks now and um I was like, you know what? All right, I'm tired. I right, I gotta get up early in the morning. Um, excuse me if you hear my cat in the background whiling. I got a little kitten. But anyway, today I was about to pass out. I gotta get up early tomorrow. I'm exhausted. I uh, started a new job two weeks ago. I've been getting up super early. But anyway, for weeks now, I've been feeling the spirit put something on my heart, and that is to share my story and um you know where where god has brought me so far up until this point i've been it's been heavy on my spirit for weeks now um to tell my story up until this point uh explain to people how i got from where i was to here um in these last five or six months and um i really just haven't wanted to do it at all like i'm just like all right god you know I'm pretty sure I hear what you're saying. You want me to speak, but I don't want to speak. You know, I'm like, I'm really enjoying like just being low key right now, and and not having the spotlight on me. Just kind of staying in the background, and and being private. Um, I'm really, you know, wasn't. I, well, I didn't want the. Per, I didn't want any persecution. I didn't want any attention. I just wanted to stay where I was at. I didn't want to speak, you know? And uh, I, I realized that spirit tells me to speak, I gotta speak, you know? Um, because this ain't about me. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to jump in and, and make this less than like 10 minutes long. So, The first thing I'll go ahead and address right off the bat is uh, my appearance because I know that's a big thing um, for a lot of folks and, and not that it's not important because it is definitely important but uh, right now it's not the focus. I know a lot of y'all that may be on my YouTube or a lot of y'all that maybe on my Facebook that I've known over the years and haven't really been in communication with, have been following me up until this point solely based upon my appearance. You wanted to watch me transition and watch the changes and I was more than happy and well and willing to share all of that with you. But let me tell you right now, well, my appearance will be a factor and it, it will definitely show the glory and power of God. Right now in this very moment, it's not what I'm focused on. Um, but I will say this, um, I haven't shaved my face. Um, I shaved it once, I want to say about three months ago, I shaved it. I actually had someone um, try to mentor me and, um, you know, teach me things regarding being more feminine and, and stuff like that. And it didn't really work out very well. So after that experience, I kind of decided to take things on my own. Um, take things on my own time and on God's time and with that being said no I haven't shaved my face I had actually somebody on my YouTube that was like commenting on a video from three or four months ago and was like well why haven't you shaved your face you're supposed to be living for the Lord now blah 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 you're still an imposter and this and this and that and I'm just like I actually did shave my face it's just you know the video three or four months old for one but I did shave my face anyway it's not shaved now um whatever okay but i haven't been taking testosterone a lot of people have also been asking me well you know are you still taking testosterone um no i'm not i haven't i haven't taken i haven't taken testosterone in like five months and uh my body is definitely changing um very rapidly actually and um i i'm noticing everything some people notice stuff some people don't but with that being said my appearance is something that will come in time 
um scripture actually says i believe it's in uh samuel it says uh man judges outward appearance god looks at the heart so while that's not to say that my outward appearance doesn't um doesn't need to become obedient um it's not to say that it's unimportant but it is to say that right now in this very moment it's not the focus okay um so if you just come in here to see what i look like then i'm sorry you can probably just go ahead and, and turn this off now because we we passed that anyway moving on so again reason why i'm up right now at 11 30 got out of bed is to tell my story up until this point i've had a lot of people reach out to me and um you know my story's got around and it's it's been actually incredible like god has has sent me a lot of people locally and you know spread out across um the states um that have reached out to tell me they've been inspired by my story thus far and um encouraged by it and reaching out to learn support and, and everything like that so it's been awesome you know god has definitely opened up opening opportunities um opening doors sending the right people my way all that great stuff and with that being said that's why i got to um i gotta let y'all know you know how i got here you know i've been doing a lot of talking about um jesus a lot of talking about god um a lot of talking about you know where i am spiritually in my life right now and a lot of y'all are like what happened how did you get here so that's what i'm here to talk about right now um so okay let, let me try to make this short and sweet beginning of this year okay um now <laughs> those that know me personally excuse me forgive me for that those that know me personally know that i've been smoking weed for a very long time and they're like oh well you just here to tell us about how you stopped smoking weed no wait so <laughs> Those that know me personally know I've been smoking weed for a very long time. Um, I've also been a very heavy drinker for a very long time. Uh, within the last few years, I got into like pills, you know, Xanax, Klonopin, you know, um, nothing too crazy. Um, I was sexually addicted. I was like casually hooking up with people. Um, on the daily people that I didn't know you know just whatever you know what I'm saying so I was struggling with a lot of addictions you know what I'm saying and and to some people um those may not even seem like addictions you know like in the world nowadays in this society nowadays it's kind of like that's the norm that's what you do you smoke weed if you're a smoker you get drunk you know you hook up you have sex you party and that's life right that's that's what you do that's all is it that's all there is to it so that's what I was doing, you know. Um, beginning of this year, I was I was single, I, I was living life. I thought, and uh, you know, with that being said, I realized that uh, I was I wasn't being fulfilled. All these things that the world said is, is supposed to fulfill me were was was not fulfilling me. I still felt. Uh, emptiness inside that nothing that I was doing no relationship no person no drink no blunt no pill could fill and uh, I just I, I, I started sinking into this deep dark hole you know? I struggled with depression on and off my on and off my whole life but it was getting really deep where in the sense of I was coming to a realization and having a realization of, you know, there's got to be more to life, more to life than this. That's where I was at. You know, there's got to be more to life than going to work, getting off, smoking a blunt, drinking, popping the pill, having sex, going to sleep. I was like, it's got to be more. It's got to be. And and I was sinking into this very dark place. I was engaged to be married last year. I ended up breaking that off and uh, just started living that single life that everybody glorifies, you know what I'm saying? And 
anyway so in my in my darkest place where i'm just questioning you know what more is there that i haven't tried that i haven't did what am i missing anyway you know i just got home i got back to my apartment i went in the room i closed the door and i was just sitting in my room in this in this dark place um and basically what i did was i called out to god and i was like you know what god i was like i believe that there's more to life than this i was like i don't want to do this anymore you know um i was like i'm not full i don't feel fulfilled in anything that i'm doing like there's got to be more i basically just asked him to help me you know like in my heart in my spirit and and what happened next is it's the reason why i'm here right now today and god felt that i was genuinely yearning for him in my heart and heard me calling out for him asking him for more asking him for help asking him to save me from the path that i was heading down that was was bringing me no satisfaction when i called out to him and asked him to save me from that he heard me and he came and what I mean by that is this, I'm, I'm sitting in my room, um, I'm in this very bad mental space, um, I'm, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm, I'm just not happy, I'm done, I'm done, I'm like, I've been here too many times before, I'm like, God help me, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, help me, I, I need you to save me right now from this path that I'm on. And what happened next was I felt a peace unlike anything I can explain. And there's actually a scripture for that. Um, and what is it? And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. So after I called out to God, immediately I felt a peace come over my entire body. And I'm not talking about the peace that you get when you smoke a blunt. I'm talking about a peace that I have never felt before in my life. Came over my entire body. It's like it just, it washed me. And um, once I felt that peace, I immediately broke down and started crying. And it wasn't sadness, it was tears of joy. Because I <laughs> I didn't, at the time, realize what was going on. But what was going on was I was experiencing the presence of God for the first time in my entire life. The peace that came over my body after I called out to God and asked Him to save me. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before in my life. It was truly a supernatural experience that only, I believe, people that have had an encounter with God can understand. But, excuse me, I'm, I'm, my voice is cracking. You know, the hormonal stuff is going on. But <laughs> after I realized what had just happened and I had time to actually process it, I knew that what I had just experienced was God's presence. I knew that I had just had an encounter with God. I knew it. I had never felt anything like it before in my life. And at that moment, I knew I was never gonna be the same. Um, I didn't, you know, I'm not gonna paint this fairy tale, this fairy tale picture and act like ever since that day, everything has been perfect, because it hasn't been. Um, but that, that day, that night changed my entire life. After that happened, I went, I started going through a process, okay? I was like, all right, I knew I just had an encounter with God. I was like, what do I do about this? You know, I was like, the peace that came over me, the joy that came over me, the relief that I felt, everything that I felt being lifted from me in that moment, I was like, I gotta live through that.